we have been watering this flower together with my wife. Every day we water it with, with prayers. We, de we declare over marriage. Yeah? We speak of our marriage. There are things that we believe to see in our marriage and things that God has promised us in our marriage. When you plant a seedling in soil, you don't need to leave it grow by its own. So this is what we, we do in our marriage. With my wife, we water it with Hi, our baby. prayers. There's a lesson we learned that we wake up on our knees every day and we declare a new thing to happen in our marriage. And we've seen these things come to life. We, we always keep on declaring, we speak over marriage. So I would liken it to a seedling we water every day and mm. it's blossoming, growing every day. Yeah? Mm. The first years, I would liken it to be like science classes. My teacher again, I teach. Science classes. <laughs> hmm? A stage under which a butterfly goes from eggs, pupa, lover, adult. From eggs, I would say that's our dating. Lover. Lover, that's when we were very stubborn. Like, <laughs> not like everyone has their own egos. Yeah? Oh my we god, my different ego and, opinions. Yes. We used so to fight. We were that's lovers. Grace, you course, know, it is that kissan, yeah? It's yeah. very stubborn and so destructive. So, and at one time, we were that lover. But later on, in our marriage, we had to go into hibernation, a pupa. It attaches to a branch. For a long time without food, yeah? I would say it was it's spraying. Yeah? The fasting. Thing, yeah, spraying, fasting. fasting. So when it comes out of that fast, out of your stubbornness, eh? God okay. gives you beauty. When it arches into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and we know God, God, God has called us to be that beautiful butterfly in our marriage, oh, and yes, we, so we, we haven't reached that place yet, but uh, I wouldn't say we are in the same caterpillar stage that we were at one time. Yeah. God is advancing us each day of our lives. He's making beauty. He's giving us beauty for ashes. He's giving wow. us beauty. Yeah. So people sometimes ask us, it's only yeah? God. That's because we, we, I believe God is arching us into that beautiful butterfly. Honey, you described it very well. I don't know what to add on that, but what I would say is uh, it's a journey. Uh, my mom used to tell me that when you enter marriage, make marriage your own marriage. Don't copy something else. Don't say um, so and so uses this formula so it will work in my marriage. Mm -hmm. No, it won't work. There is no formula into marriage. There is no formula into you two. Um, why I'm saying that, I might tell you that me and Andy pray at three or pray in the morning at seven. Mm. But at seven, your other partner is not around. So it's not a copy paste, mm. it's what you make it. So what I've learned about these three years, we are not, I'm, we, I'm not saying we are yet there, but it's a beautiful journey mm. from where we are. The first year was a lot of Wrestling, <laughs> I, I am thinking this, he's thinking that. So we are like pulling the rope on mm. each other's side. But towards the end of first year, I realized three things. I listened to a sermon by Pastor Mike Todd. I love this guy so much. Mike Todd was talking about the three things men want and the three things women want and actually need, men need, then the three things women also need. Mm. So he talked about three things for men. One, respect. Two, food. Three, sex. So I sat down, talked to the Holy Spirit. I told mm. him, God, please teach me how to, you know, advice is good, okay? Mm. But you should know which advice works for you. Mm. Don't say to cut my weight, I must run every day a thousand miles. Maybe yours, it should be cutting food, what mm. you eat. So I asked the Holy Spirit, how do I transform this into my marriage mm. and make my marriage sweeter? The Holy Spirit started teaching me, pruning me. Like, you know, I learned that. Yes, 
This is the man of the house. I'm just the helper. Started getting beautiful. Second year, mm. more beautiful. Third year. So I've, I'm so grateful to God for our journey. Like I said in the start, Ebenezer, uh, God has taught us so many things. He has taught us to agree on something. But it didn't just come like that. It came with a lot of prayers. Like I told you, I'm so stubborn. And I know I was stubborn because he's such a humble man. And I thank God for that. And I thank God that I'm stubborn. Because if you got humble and humble, trust me, that house, eh? I don't know where that house will be. So, like he said, my, our marriage has been the sweet flower. By the way, when we got engaged, mm. our pastor Pete, he prophesied that your marriage will be like a flower. It will start from the seed. Mm. It will grow. And it shall sprout. Yeah. So, we are seeing how God has done a great job in us, mm. but um, it's through the watering, and I would say the watering is the prayer, it's the fasting, it's the being lenient, um, being patient, having faith. It's been a great journey, and it's still a great journey, and it will always be a great journey. I can't wait for what the Lord has in stock for us. Amen. I mean, I just love everything about my marriage. Once you give a woman love, you're so affectionate. Trust me. I think also provision. because Yes, yeah. provision. Yes. Build a relationship with God. Yeah. Uh, you can't do anything without God, whether you like it or not. So the first relationship that you have to build so that it will help you in your marriage is the relationship with God. Mm. It has to be straight. You have to pray, you have to sacrifice, you have to do a lot of things. And trust me, that energy will reflect back into your marriage. Amen. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and, and obtains favor. favor. If you're just starting to date, uh, or you haven't yet started dating, I should say, mm. um, seek God more, mm. seek for his favor, and create what you want in your mind. Mm. How? Through prayer. Not just sharpening him with words. If you want really something <coughs> to help you out, is talk to God. Like uh, one lesson in the Bible, you see, Two ladies who, who were favored, Esther, mm -hmm. she was favored, and Ruth. Ruth found favor before Boaz. Mm -hmm. From just picking out, she became the owner of the vineyard. So that, that's what favor does. And it lifted Esther from being just a slave girl to be a queen. Mm. Yeah, so favor does so much more than what we expect especially we see favor working for women in, in the bible it's still the same favor that is working even now for a man an advice for a man there who's who's intending to to start dating you have to be in the presence of god the story of creation it was when adam was in the presence of god because god made him to sleep that's mm. when he was able to bring out a reed and created Eve out mm. of him. God will bring that your Eve to you. Amen. Yeah. And another thing about work, men ought to be working. If you're not working there and you intend to get married, my friend, <laughs> my friend, wake up. <laughs> the, yeah, the, my friend. Yes. The first task God gave to man is to work. To work. He created the Garden of Eve, but the Garden of Eden, Eden, he put man there, but he wasn't putting man there to just to enjoy. He had to work because even God himself is working. Hmm? Yeah. Jesus himself is working. When he came here, he also he had to work. He, I remember when they did, he performed a miracle on Sabbath, Sabbath day. He was working. He blesses. God will command a blessing over whatever you touch, whatever Amen. your hand lays on. So get that in for your woman. Get that in now. Work, oh, you don't, work don't pray. it out. God promised to bless us when you work. You rain money out of there. Wow. So you go to work. You go to get that in. to be working so that we can provide for 
this space is God gives us. Yeah? Yeah. So, Hello, I'm here. <laughs> another trait women ought to develop while dating or even even when post dating when marriage is yeah. you can't no way you're going to be with a woman who you can't cultivate. Amen. Mm. It's a actually cultivation, that's a it's a term for a farmer. <laughs> yeah? Mm. It's a farming term. Cultivating tilling. Yeah? Like you bring out the weeds as you said it clearly. It has to go, you have to prune so that whatever trait you need in a woman, in your woman, cultivation is through praying. Because eh? there are things which will not go unless you pray, unless you fast, unless you go on your knees. Because it's God that changes hearts. Eh? Mm. So however much you fight, these physical battles will not <laughs> take you anywhere. Cultivation, you have to go on your knees. You have to humble yourself and go on your knees. You have to lower down your ego as a man and say, even though I'm the head of the house, God, is the, I'm, I'm still a bride of Christ. True. So I have to sub, be submissive to Christ True. through prayer. And then when I get submitted to Christ, that's when, as in God will give me the grace also to see, like, to see the good thing, first of all, in your wife or in your girlfriend mm. or the person you're dating. Mm. You, start to see, you start seeing good things and then you encourage them to do those good, good things. And then what you do not like, you prune, you tell, you tell your partner, I don't like this one. To do the same, welcome. yeah. So that's wow. how we do cultivation. Yeah. And it's continuous, as it's protection, this brings out uh, our masculinity, yeah? Mas, <laughs> mas, is it mass? But one time I asked, and uh, <laughs> do you know how to fight? <laughs> he tells me this funny story. At school, he said, I'm going to fight this guy, yeah. And Yama, where they punched him one punch on the nose, he was down. So yeah. it's not only about your masculinity, mas what? <laughs> Yeah. Protection goes beyond us ladies. We want to be somewhere where we feel so safe. Not only fighting for my rights or fighting for me. Actually, you might fight and I get scared. But um, first pause that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know why God made us? <laughs> just realize every creature yeah. God created. From, that from, was just from a joke the that you told me. <laughs> yes, from even the birds. Yeah. You find the cock is bigger than the hen. Masichirin, then? Honey, I don't know. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are not so, in English lessons. Okay. Putting physicality aside. Okay. Yeah. You fight for your woman. First of all, you, everything starts from on your knees. You, you start on your her. knees. You guard her. Yeah? You pray for her when she's going to work. You speak a blessing. You don't know what you encounter during the day. Yeah? Yeah, and the, the, the best same thing applies, yeah, applies also for a woman. You speak of the person that you are dating. Yeah? So it goes way beyond the physicality. Be man being masculine and the mm -hmm. ladies being this. It go, goes into even also in the spiritual spiritual I side of it you speak okay yes. and lastly to teach each other the word you know something that really binds us together is the word of god mm -hmm. there is a lot to talk about when it comes to the word of god and men are our teachers so I have a tendency, I wake up in the morning, I read something, I tell Andrew, explain to me. Few days that I don't even remember. He tells me, give me some time, I will explain it. That gives me courage that this, my man, is on a different level. I hate it when I ask him and he tells me I don't know how. On a very rare, rare, rare scale, he will tell me I don't know. But he always tells me, just give me a minute, I will study clearly about it and I'll tell you, if he doesn't know. So he always knows the correct words to mm. teach me. It brings out like the purpose of man in, the, in, in marriage. Mm. God calls men to be the aid, yeah? Mm. So how can you be the aid when you cannot teach your wife? Actually, most of, most of us, when we're dating, we ask God, give me a godly person, this, but you know, 
if you're not godly, God will give you. <laughs> There's a pastor, I think, uh, the late pastor, say for my sake. If you are, if you are there and you're asking God for a godly person and you're not godly, then my friend, you're asking for fire. <laughs> yeah, you're asking for fire. Yeah. So, if you are, if you are there and you're asking God for a godly person, you have to also be start godly. walking. Yeah, that yeah. way. If you're dating or you're looking for someone. I would advise and encourage you to read a book titled Relationship Goals by Pastor Mike Todd. It will help you a lot on this journey of dating, of finding a spouse. I spend more time with my auntie sometimes when while we're growing up. She used to tell us, pray for your spouse. I didn't know what it was meaning. So if you are out there and you intend one day to get married, it doesn't matter which age you are at. 14, because I remember they used to tell me when I was 14, 13, as long as you're a man or a, a woman who intends to get married, pray for your spouse. Yeah? So yeah. that's one thing. That brings me to a reminder of uh, uh, affirming, setting goals. Set your goals, write them down, and then affirm them. Pray about them mm. every day. It does miracles. Prayer does so much. Like in creation, eh? okay, in physicality, people create things, they came up with a barb light, but some, someone was explaining the effect of prayer in, in everything we do. There was a story told about an artist who just picked a wood from the forest, he cut down the wood, so he started cutting out pieces, pieces, eh? mm -hmm. so he was, he was molding something, something beautiful, but Every day he had to break out a piece, piece to create maybe eyes, mouth, something like that. It was shaping the wood. So at the end of the day or at the end of the period, there was a beautiful sculpture of a person. Our prayer does. When you pray, you are praying bad vices out of your partner. For mm -hmm. example, you haven't met her or met him. Maybe he's still drinking. So if, when you pray over him, you will lose that appetite for, for a drink. When you like war room. Yeah. You hope him, you shake the way you want him to be. The COVID times is a blessing in disguise for someone other. Actually, the trend in Uganda for wedding was Crazy. going out of control because people, mm. you could see people renting a Car. truck of a truck of cows and later on. <laughs> they have to take it back. <laughs> to take Maybe it if you did that to me, I don't know what's so <laughs> They were trying to impress. Yeah? Mm. And uh, I believe God is calling us back, like it's, it's, a, it's a good opportunity for people who are getting married. Yeah, be simple. Eh? Don't, don't, uh, don't spend, eh? don't spend what you do not have. Plan something which is in your range. If they give you money, go, that will be yeah, for another life. A bonus, yeah. <laughs> a bonus for your for, children, maybe. A for, bonus for, for your, your house. For um, your yeah. honeymoon. Yes, a bonus for something else. But work, save. And the Bible says, so many days, so many times, it says, God asks people. First of all, he asks Moses, what do you have? Eh? Moses had that stuff. And you use that. Yes. And then we see how God, Jesus himself fed the multitude out of a, a small lunchbox of a, of a boy. It'd be like ants, you know, they are so wise, they say for the future. Wow. Yeah. Our family, our friends. Our family. Our who friend. have encouraged us and pushed us during those hard times and hard moments. Yes. Yeah. And uh, for praying for us, actually, we know. We could, we, we can't make it without yeah. your support right. because uh, no man is an island. And mm. the most and most and important thing that you can do for someone is pray for them. Yes. So above everything we want to thank the lord for the three years it's been god it will always be god and it's going to be god i can't wait for eternity yes. <laughs> three down forever to go i uh, we are celebrating this because it's an achievement that god has blessed us with i know it sounds little, it might sound little, but it's not little at the same time. So we want to just thank Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom for our family. Since day one. Yeah, it's been going. And uh, 
we believe to more? see uh, more things. Wow, it's been a lovely time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching us till the end. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel. Uh, today we are celebrating three years. We just wanted to talk about our yes. dating life, how it has been and what helped us. I hope you learned something. Reach me out in the comment. Tell me what you learned um, in our talk. I remain Rita K to Haise, Mr. Andrew Kasiri Peter, today Futuri. <laughs> and I love you all, guys. Bye. It's time to sign up. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.